It depends on the state. California doesn't have a different tipped minimum wage than normal minimum wage. Yeah, but it's still like the service industry or whatever. It's kind of like intended though. Like you can combat this as much as you want to though. Um, like it's kind of intended to be at least like 15%. Right? It, it's, it's kind of intended. Why do you think most things have like a button where it's like 15% at, at the beginning? It's, it's like, dude, it's just kind of how it is. Hey Even son, sorry world, but we are gonna need to get MC McDonald's for your are... birthday and not go to that restaurant that you like cause dad don't have money for yeah, a fucking tip. Yeah, a lot of restaurants, a good amount, they, it says, it says gratuity or whatever, and it's already in, in the price whatever. Symbol of luxury. I tried this tipping in Japan and they got offended. This is worth $27,000, and some of the most valuable chains will cost 10 times that. Making a single chain requires the skill of more than five experienced jewelers and can take over 12 hours. Damn, so that's not cool though. are Cuban link chains made? And is that what makes them so expensive? Somebody has to literally take 14 hours of their day running hot steel through machinery to then turn it by hand, to then file it by hand to so then polish it by hand. You're not just wearing a chain, you're wearing somebody's blood, sweat, and tears and passion around your neck. The origin of the Cuban link chain is tough to pinpoint, but it likely didn't start in Cuba. It was a quintessential part of hip hop style in the 70s and 80s and grew in popularity as hip hop became Damn, more Damn, look at those chains, those look fucking baller. But not all Cuban link chains are created equal. Many Cuban link chains are made by machines in countries like the US, Italy, and China. But the authentic and most expensive ones are made by hand at just a few shops in Miami. When you move into the higher end of Cuban link chains, which we get into the 50,000, 80,000, 100,000 dollar chains, those have to be handmade. One, because of the attention to detail. The file, the tight links. I'm confused. Like a Ferrari dealer. You could buy a Ferrari off the lot, or you could have it made to how you want. This is a custom build. A chain like this goes through 30 manual and time-consuming stages. The skills come from your ability and practice and knowledge. Worldwide, I can't tell you an exact number. Within South Florida, there's a handful of people, literally a handful of people that could do this. Not only is this process incredibly labor intensive, it's also dangerous. Chino and his crew work with 1000 degree flames to melt down the gold and form it into a bar. A bar? You definitely gotta be paying attention to what you're doing in this job. One mess up, you're Wait, it's all gonna gold. hurt yourself. There has been people that have lost fingers in this, in this business. That bar passes through a rolling machine as many as 12 times just to make it thinner. Each of the nine jewelers at Gold Fever Miami has a specific job. At the stretch bench, one jeweler can spend over an hour just stretching the wire to length. This isn't dirt, it's actual gold. If you look at my hands, you'll see the place of gold on them. This wire then gets curled around a copper rod to form the shape for the links. For smaller chains, a drill gets the job done, but thicker ones need the strength of two jewelers. It's not all gold, right? The most crucial stage of the process comes next. It also requires the most skill. Gold alloy, so it's like a mix. Soldering is the most intricate part of what you're doing. Essentially what you're doing is you're heating up gold and right before it begins- I don't think these are that cool though. I'm gonna give it a stack and a buck. These look okay. They just look, eh, I don't know. What you're doing is- My opinion, dude, you need to have like a big body and a certain amount of muscle or like volume to wear some of that dude if you're skinny and you wear that you should look like a fucking moron because you're heating up gold and right before it begins to break down and melt this is like some rick ross some bullshit solder. solder is another type of metal that's used to permanently close each link so it's the balance of applying the right amount of flame with the right amount of uh, technique to when those two metals meet that solder melts and fuses into the gold. So if you left too long, the whole thing is just liquid gold. 
if done way too early, the solder won't melt properly and you won't get that fusion. Jeez, that isn't that hot for the fingers? You can't mess that up or you're gonna create gaps in the chain and you can't be scared to stop and just do it all over again. It's no secret the price of gold plays a part in determining the cost of these chains. An ounce of gold uh, costs kind of $1,700 today. But even the most high-end Cuban links are mixed with something else. Diamond. Gold itself is a very soft material, typically too soft to be made into jewelry on its own. It has to be alloyed with other metals. White gold, for example, is an alloy of gold made of white metals, like silver, zinc, and nickel. Those metals make the gold more pliable, allowing it to be stretched and twisted during the jewelry making process, but they can be especially difficult to work with. One small movement can make all the difference. Chat, is the thing I don't understand? This will sound kind of dumb. It'll sound kind of dumb. Be careful. You know, diamond, the reason why a diamond can't really, it has to be, it has to be a diamond when you look at it, is that it's, it's because it, 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 it's how much light that, gets, uh, that goes through it and the clarity, the reflect, the the, uh, the cut, right? I get it, right? But for the gold, couldn't you have like another thing that gives a little bit of gold tone that would look the same? It, it, I mean, light doesn't go through the gold. So couldn't you have like any other thing that could make the same color, but without being gold? In rare cases with white gold, this can happen. This is the reason why it costs so much. If any one of these links break, you then have to take it. See, that was, a, that was an interesting question, wasn't it? That wasn't that bad. Back to the soldering table, re-solder it and bring it back here and turn it again. Once the links are properly turned and tightened, the chain will lie flat. A jeweler must then file down the chain so that each side is level and looks exactly the same. And here is where the passion of the jeweler comes into hand to how beautiful he can make that shape. Couldn't you do that with like a machine though? But these Cuban links in particular didn't become so sought after or so valuable until recently. Google Trends shows that searches for Cuban link chains began taking off in 2012. And in the last two years, Gold Fever Miami sales have grown 100 times over. The shop used to sell $2,000 worth of Cuban links a month. That number is now over $200,000. Whether you're the most famous or you're just starting off, to legitimize yourself as a rapper, you have to have jewelry. And if you have jewelry, you have a Miami Cuban link chain. Oh, uh, that's not true though. Jay -Z wore nah, I don't agree with that mentality at all. Not even a little bit one of the priciest Cuban links made at the time, worth $200,000. That is an A year later, Daddy Yankee debuted take. his 10 kilo Cuban that link chain cringe. in a music video. I and there's even it. more traction in the music industry now. They're so intertwined with pop culture, more specifically hip hop and reggaeton. Just about every song that has is a that music still video. True? Yeah, a, a, a lot, if not a big portion of, of recent uh, successful rappers or whatever, we're from Spotify. We're on Spotify, you see somebody's gold chain, or gold necklace, or rolly on my wrist. You just don't. They see what the what what what, what the rap comes from. The, the music itself, the fucking the record, not the fucking the, the looks. The fuck. We'll have a rapper with a Miami Cuban link chain. It's become, in a way, what? like a status symbol. We have customers that want to match their Rolexes to their chains. These versions are often decked out with diamonds, which naturally makes them pricier. But Gus doesn't see demand slowing for chains like this or the more modest ones. Right now, as of March of 2021, we are pumping anywhere from 10 to 15 kilos in five days, so per five weeks. And we still can't keep up with the demand. We still have a wait time of five to seven weeks. This, coupled with the steep price of gold, means prices likely won't drop anytime soon. My favorite part of the process has to be the polishing. It's when you see a beautiful piece of metal end up in a beautiful piece of jewelry. So, listen. 